Hi friends. Are you happy you survived 2020? Me too. Well, we have reached our 2021 this year and a lot of people are stating this year will be much better than last year. We can always hope that this year will be better. But what does God say about it? It's always important to know what God is telling us and what this year will bring us. If you like to know what this year can be, what can happen this year in 2021, I'll have a link in my descriptions um, about a video I made earlier, um, a few weeks ago, what to expect in 2021. Take a look if you haven't seen it yet. So a lot of people think this year will be much better than last year and we can surely hope so but it's always important to know what God is telling us. A lot of people are praying and I'm praying that God will show us what this year will be all about. Um, so as I was praying and I was like I will make a video about what 2021 will be more if God tells me what to do but at this point I was just focusing on January and praying about it and asking God what he wanted me to share for January and what this month or this year is going to be all about so stay tuned and I will share what God has on my heart to share with you all so as I pray to God for God to give me a word for the month of January, I open my Bible and I just actually just put it on the table and then I noticed it was open already. So I opened it to see what it was, what it said. And um, I will tell you what God showed me. So in this video, basically we will talk about the word that God gave to me, a dream I had to confirm the word and it is a warning for January and maybe for a warning for later this year. Um, because God is a good God. He will warn his children what to do. He will um, prepare us. He will, by, by warning us, he will tell us how to prepare. And he is also always is helping us to repent to seek his ways and because today is still a good time we still have time to do so so let's jump in so as i opened my bible my eyes fell on the word from zephania chapter 1 verse 14 it said the gray day of the lord is near near and coming quickly the cry on the day of the lord is bitter the mighty warrior shouts his battle cry that day will be a day of wrath a day of distress and anguish a day of trouble and ruin a day of darkness and gloom a day of clouds and blackness a day of trumpet and a battle cry against the fortified cities and against the corner towers. I will bring such distress on all the people that they will grope about like those who are blind because they have sinned against the Lord. Their blood will be poured out like dust and their entrails like dung. Neither their silver nor their gold will be able to save them on the day of the Lord's wrath. In the fire of his jealousy, the whole earth will be consumed, for he will make a sudden end of all who live on the earth. So after I read this, I was really amazed. I was amazed about the warning that God has given us, how he loves us and protects us, how he, um, of course, I asked God to show me and confirm his word for me. I was asking God to show me like in a dream 
what this year is all about. I was asking him to show me and confirm his word to me. So as I was dreaming all this past night, I was sleeping. There was, was I had no dreams. Only earlier in the morning, I saw a dream and it was a very short dream. I saw like a black sky, dark clouds, and I saw an asteroid, a burning asteroid. Um, like, um, it was just like falling from the sky. And that's all I saw. So as I woke up with the start, I realized that God, um, the dream was very short, but the meaning was very clear. Something big will happen this year. So yes, we are hoping that year 2021 will be a much better year and that um, everything will be behind us. But hoping is one thing while knowing is another. Our mind can be easily mistaken while God never makes mistakes. And um, he knows what will happen. And this is why praying and asking God to show us what will happen is so important. So what should we do? The answer comes in chapter 2 of Zephania. Let me share with you. Okay, so it tells us here. In, in chapter 2. Gather together, gather yourself together, you shameful nation. Before the decree takes effect and the day passes like the wind blown shaft. Before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you, before the day of the Lord wrath comes upon you. Seek the Lord and you humble of the land, all you humble of the land. You who do what he commands, seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you, should, you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. So as you can see, there's a lot of things we can do to keep us safe. So God is telling us before everything starts happening, we have to seek him. We have to humble ourselves. We have to seek humility, seek righteousness, and seek the Lord. That's number one. And the most important thing here, he says, perhaps you will be sheltered when the day of the Lord's anger comes. So that's what is hopeful to us. We know that if we humble ourselves, if we see God, He will protect us. He will shelter us. No matter what happens around us, we'll be in a shelter. Like what I am right now in the tree. I am sheltered from the elements. So it is the same way when um, everything starts coming apart. God will protect us. He will shelter us. So it was a very interesting word of the of God I got for the January and I felt it's very especially with my dream coming that something will happen something big so I'm excited to for this new year I'm excited for January to see where God will take us so I hope you enjoy this prophetic word from God and hopefully you will seek his face and, and know that God will protect you. Stay tuned.